Hi, I'm Sarah Schisla. I'm Brian Romero. And I'm Ewa Blanca. And we looked into Kite Pharma's T cell bioengineering. Kite Pharma is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company that has been at the forefront of cancer immunotherapy for nearly 30 years. Today, the company is the leader in engineering T cells, reaching the late stage of phase 2 trials for the process producing their KTE C19 product by 2016. Now in pivotal trials, the company hopes to make interim data available soon. T cells work as part of the body's immune system to fight various diseases. The company has two ways of engineering T cells to fight cancer, but we will focus on chimeric antigen receptor, or CAR engineering. This is the genetic modification of T cells to identify and attack cancer cells. These CARs are able to identify and attack cancer cells independently of the receptors and antigens already on the surface of the cancer cells. Alternatively, Kite Pharma uses T cell receptor or TCR engineered T cell programs to target and kill cancer cells. There are quite a few companies which are looking into bioengineering T cells mainly for use in cancer immunotherapy. Besides Kite Pharma, other companies such as Autolus, also interested in CARs, and Trimavira, specializing in T cell antigen couplers, or TACs, are also attempting to bioengineer T cells. As of right now, all of the companies seem to have relatively the same amount of productivity and efficiency purely based on the difficulty of maintaining gene vectors which can insert the needed genes into the given T-cells. What really differentiates these companies are the specific bioengineering processes and what the T-cells end up looking like once the processes have been completed. Knowledge of T-cell functionality and malleability forms the basis for this operation. CAR engineering was pioneered by Israeli immunologist Zilei Escher who genetically modified the T lymphocytes of a cancer patient, cultured the cells in vitro, and restored the cells through adoptive cell transfer. A research team led by Brian Baker further explored T cell engineering for specificity and function, focusing on antigen recognition properties. The basis of, for CAR engineering consists of understanding the role of the ligand, the peptides that interact with the T cell receptor to control recognition behavior. The physical basis consists of the external structure of the T cell and how modifying its architecture impacts receptor signaling to the interior of the cell. The market for cancer immunotherapy is growing rapidly. Markets and Markets projects that the $62 billion industry will reach $122 billion by 2021. Other companies and groups such as the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center are also developing CAR engineering processes. An ongoing EU project to treat metastatic esophagus gastric cancer and melanoma with TCR engineered T-cells shows the timelines and costs to obtain a T-cell product are about two weeks and $36,000 per patient, respectively. Engineering the T-cells is run as a batch process because the T-cells being engineered are taken directly from the patient being treated. First, blood is taken from the patient which goes through a process that separates peripheral blood mononuclear cells or PBMCs from the non other non-essential materials in blood. These cells are put into a closed system fickle gradient which enriches the T-cell fraction in the sample. The enriched sample is then sent through a closed bag system in which antibodies are added to activate the T-cells, allowing them to grow and multiply. The mixture is then passed through another reactor in which retroviral vectors containing the specific genes for T-cells to be able to effectively target and combat a specific kind of cancer is passed, passes this gene onto the T-cell. The T-cells then are allowed to grow and expand for another period of time and the final engineering product is washed out. In the part of the process I have chosen to focus on, the activated T cells are transduced with the gamma retroviral vectors containing the anti-CD19 CAR gene. That is, the cancer-specific genetic material is transferred to the T cells, which allows the T cells to better identify and combat the cancer cells. In other CAR engineering processes, the large-scale production of these special viral vectors used are cost and labor intensive, whereas Kite Pharma has implemented processes developed for gene therapy that produce stable vector cell lines more cost efficiently. This increases the amount of CAR cells that can be engineered. <laughs>